Sand AF. All right, it's that time again, time for a solo over night in the woods. And today, we're gonna work on our tiny home slash deer stand. Let's get to it. Eight foot from post to post. And these sheets here, I wanna say are, so we can find the edge there, about 36 inches. So two and a half sheets on this bad boy, roughly, I think about eight foot. One foot overlap gives me seven foot here, so we're in business. an easy way and a hard way. You see that this carport actually slopes downward. Taking a full size sheet, making it flush with the bottom, we can see the difference. Go on the back side, take a pencil, mark that slope, and then cut her off.
Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. Quicksand AF. This is what I'm going through just to get a video out. Okay, so real quick while we're waiting for this to uh, thicken up here, um, Wednesdays, every single Wednesday I'm dropping a midweek video. It's going to be a skills video, a food video, meaning cooking, or a short build video, something. It's going to be a shorter video between three to five minutes in length, so check that out. The entire point is to increase my watch time so YouTube circulates my channel more than they're doing right now. They've dropped it back about 75%. So I'm dropping two videos a week for you guys now to try and get the watch time built back up. 
Now, if you have a hard time getting notified, get on my email list at corporalaf.com. Once again, corporalaf.com, and I'll send you out notifications when the videos drop. But every single Wednesday, you're going to get a shorter video. And yes, on Sunday, you're going to get the build video. So stay tuned for that. Every single one of these are exactly the same, just like the MREs. you got to cut it. Because most of the time, the food is at the very bottom, and good luck getting to it with a small fork like this. All right, we have beefy chili mac. Look at that right there. Mm. That's what we're talking about. Nice and spicy, too. Man, I wish I had some sour cream right now. Tell you what, look at that. Oh yeah. Cut you all in a few. I want to apologize for the quality of this video. It sucks. It was thrown together relatively quickly. Um, you saw what I was standing in. My entire property looks like that. It's a big soupy mess. I mean, look at that. It's just horrible. And everything I wanted to do, I couldn't do. So I had one day today to get this done, edit tomorrow, and drop it on Sunday. So. At least we got something out of the deal. Um, I apologize if it's not the full 20 minutes, but I did what I could. And doing two or three videos a week, you know, I'm running on top of that, living my life, getting things done, getting my Etsy page going. Um, I have no time now. So, again, I apologize. With that, though, I'm going to get my um, thermo rest in here. I'm going to get my gear put in here and stored away and warm up and enjoy my night. Catch you all in the morning. Alright, so once again we have our breakfast cooked in a 120 year old skillet. These were made around 1880 to about 1920, so at a minimum they're 100 years old. And people keep asking me, where do I find these? Well, simple answer, on my Etsy page, in my description box. I have the small ones, sometimes I have bigger ones, family size ones. So check that out. Description box, Etsy page. You'll find these and a whole lot more. Also, I'm getting rid of a lot of my gear, my overflow gear, my overstock. If I have two or three, four or five pocket knives that are the same one, I'm getting rid of them. So again, check out my Etsy page. So, here we go. Mm. Yes, sir. Outstanding. I'll wait for that coffee. I'm going to finish this. Catch you all in a few. Okay, so let's talk about builds real quick. We have this one right here, and I apologize for it yesterday. It's not the build that I wanted. It's not even finished where I wanted to be for this video, but I had less than one day to get this bad boy done, and I went ahead and jumped on it. Um, so I apologize again for that. I have another large build coming up. It's going to take several, several, several weeks to complete. So I'm hoping we can bounce between <coughs> excuse me, this one, the new one, and my old Skyrim build, um, I had scrapped that before, 
and I'm going to turn it into something else. So I got three large builds to work on between now and late spring, early summer to get us to that halfway point of the year. So look forward to those. Um, once again, I just can't stress enough the midweek videos. If you're a fan of my channel, I ask that you please watch the midweek videos to keep my channel circulated in the feed. There's a lot of YouTube changes going on in the days of just getting a video out. Just crap quality, just get content, just get content. If you're just getting content and no one's watching the content, it's not worth doing. So um, the days of just putting videos out is over. They want quality videos multiple times a week or they're going to slow your videos down even more and then basically disappear you. So I'm doing what I can for you guys. Uh, we're at two videos a week right now. Wednesday, 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 you're going to get a midweek video. For Sunday, you're going to get the build videos. So do me a favor, watch both. All right, let's go ahead and end this bad boy off. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in three places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corpus Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. But once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. Now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. Okay, so let's talk about trust. <clears throat> Moving forward in 2023, who can you trust? Who should you trust? For some people, it's friends. Some people, it's family. Some people, it's the government. Some people, it's money, 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 money. Why? Because money talks and BS walks. Now, here's the sad, unfortunate truth about trust. No matter what you choose to trust in or put your trust in, most of the time it's met with disappointment, especially if it's close friends or family. And the flip side to this is, or the segue to trust, is most of the times that you trust somebody, they're out for themselves and they're really manipulating you to help them. They come under the false pretense of they're helping you. Let's use the government, for example. Uh, not getting political, but just an example. We're here to teach you, lead you, push you into prosperity, make you successful, but you're going to pay them taxes. You're going to Help us now by passing the vote or voting for that thing that you might not have wanted. But look at all the good things that can come out of it. It's a two-way street. Most of the time, people use you to help or promote themselves. And government is the exact same way. Some religions, a lot of religions, are the exact same way. Um, peddling fear and do this or you're going to burn in hell and pay the money and it will be okay. Um, but... Not to get on a different route there, my point is trust. Who can you trust? The one thing I found that no matter what occurs, you can always trust yourself. Because if you fail, who do you blame? So again, there's no right or wrong answer. Think about this. Moving forward, who can you really trust? With that, take care of yourself and each other.